Hey everyone, it's Bradley Bush again with another algebra video. Today we are talking about adding and subtracting complex numbers. Our to-do list. First off, we'll talk about what a complex number is. Give you a little rundown, A plus BI form. Second, a little review of the imaginary unit I, so you're not lost and wondering what that letter is. And then we'll give you an example of adding and subtracting complex numbers. Let's start. Oh, and also I'll put information about the parts of this video in the video details so you can skip ahead uh, to the timestamps provided if you want. Let's go. Big picture, what is a complex number? Well, a complex number, in short, is everything. Everything you've dealt with in algebra is a complex number. So complex numbers break down into smaller groups, and those smaller groups break down into continually smaller groups. So if you look at this diagram, the most inclusive group is the top, and as we go down, they are less inclusive. So in other words, the natural numbers at the bottom, those are also whole numbers, and whole numbers are also integers, and so on, up forth the, up the tree. So complex numbers. Complex numbers... Are, can be broken down into two categories. The real numbers and the imaginary numbers. So real numbers are complex numbers and imaginary numbers are complex numbers. And complex numbers have both real and imaginary parts. So a real number would be something like 6. Uh, an imaginary number would be something with an I on it. And real numbers can be broken down even further into rational and irrational. Irrational numbers are numbers like pi. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a fraction of two integers. Irrational numbers cannot be written as a fraction of two integers. Below the rationals, we have the integers. Below the integers, we have whole numbers, which just knock off the negative integers. And then we have the natural numbers, which knock off zero. And we just have the natural numbers, which are also often called counting numbers because they are used to count, one, two, three, and on up. So that is what I'm talking about when we talk about complex numbers. So complex numbers, the standard form of a complex number is A plus BI. The A part is the real part. The BI part is the imaginary part. Specifically, the A and the B, those are real numbers themselves. And the I is the imaginary unit. Standard form says that the real part comes before the imaginary part. And let's see what we can learn about the imaginary unit I. So the imaginary unit I, I by definition is a square root of negative 1. That's just something you have to remember i equals the square root of negative 1. If you square both sides of this equation, you end up getting i squared equals negative 1. That's also something that's used super, super often. So whenever we're dealing with negatives inside of even indexed radicals, the index is right here out front. If it's not there, it's assumed to be a 2. 2 is an even number. So anytime we're dealing with negatives under even indexed radicals, we take that negative out front, and it becomes an i out here. So that's what we say. That's what we mean when we say change to i form. Most often, students will go from this first step all the way to the last step in one shot. They often do the intermediate two steps in their head, and that's totally fine. I wrote it out here just so you could see it. So the negative comes out as an I, and then you can perform the square root just as you normally would. So let's do this example here. The square root of negative 25, the negative here comes out, this negative here comes out as an I, and I have the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5. Convention says that the i, if it's with just a normal number, not a radical, goes to the, low, to the right. So we'll do that. 
So the square root of negative 25 is just 5i. All right, here's the meat of this video, adding and subtracting complex numbers. The good thing is it's actually super easy. It's very similar to adding and subtracting polynomials. You add and subtract the imaginary parts. So here's an imaginary part, here's an imaginary part. You add and subtract the real parts. There's a real part, there's a real part. That's it. Notice two real parts added together, the two imaginary parts added together. Let's change that to yellow. So in our example, five minus two i plus negative four plus three i are two real parts are five and minus four and the two imaginary parts are negative two i and three i and that gives us five minus four is one and negative two and three i gives us just one i so there we go one plus i there's the answer so that's not bad at all right when you're subtracting the only thing you need to remember is that you distribute that negative through. So you can see that the negatives have been distributed through here. So let's do that. Let's distribute that negative through both of those and then add the real parts. So five negative, negative four gives us five plus four. And then negative two i and negative a positive three i gives us a negative three i. So that gives us 9, and then negative 2, negative 3 gives us negative 5i, and we're done. So adding and subtracting negative or complex numbers is really simple. You add all the real parts, and or subtract, add or subtract, and then you add or subtract the imaginary parts. And then you put them in standard form, which means a plus bi. So here we have a plus or minus bi. There we go. This was helpful. Leave a comment, like the video, or subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.